was obviously just a, a random witness. But he knew that, like, I said, I was just on my roof down at work there. And I heard the booking bang. And, uh, I, you know, nothing else I could do, really. I just fucking just walked off. And then I, I, I walked back to my place, rolled up an ice fucking lift, got the deck chair out, and observed what happens from there on. Ambulance came. Uh, scooped him up, kind of. Um, but there was blood everywhere. Uh, but this is a good good ending to the story. This I can't believe that motorbike got written off. Anyway, the next day was Sunday. Because this was night time. So. Next day, it was quite uh, because of the four court lights quite bright yet, but. The next day, when the sun came up, it was crimson, crimson. The road was like, looked like it'd been fucking crimson washed. And right next to a car wash. So the Polish guy saw it, and I had to explain to him. I was a bit, I was a little bit, I dare I say, it was, it wasn't the everyday situation that I'd seen there. I can't say I was traumatised, it was interesting more than anything. Because I know I've seen fucking loads of matches. And uh, I mean, that was just like. One of them. I just can't believe that fucking bike got written off. Uh, anyway, uh, the Polish guys next day was like, what's happened? Yeah, you know, they were obviously fucked off by then, the cops and the. Uh, the ambulance scooped him up. It wasn't in the paper actually, next day. Uh, not much about it though, because it was so horrific. And they didn't want to uh, disturb anyone. But yeah, uh, a bit fucked up though. And it, I said to the Polish guys, that I don't fully, you know, well, it, it, he did the sign and then spun round and like whacked his head on a few poles like the and it ended up in the gu near the gutter, but the, by the gas gas stop, but but bus stop. <laughs> uh, just but the twitching. Uh, he wasn't wearing a helmet, obviously. Um, there was blood everywhere. But they, they got the uh, couple of Polish. Well, they're all Polish. That were jet blasters on him straight away and I was amazed how quickly they knew what to do those Polish guys know how to clean away blood spill blood that's one thing I was I was just I mean they know how to clean cars too don't get me wrong I mean that's their job in it and they work from the uh, top down obviously to um, to clean so it all runs up they knew exactly where to hit the spots, where to hit that blood spot, or splash. I, I reckon they could even sense a bit of uh, droplets, but I couldn't even see, you know. And they knew where to start it. Uh, there's two of them on, on the fucking jet blasters. Got one of those real long ones, yeah? And they're powerful. Polish. And that. And you could see it was on full steam as well. They got the fucking jet washers on the extra maximum hot. And like that. Two of them <laughs> cleaned away all the blood. And they went into the gutter. And I saw this river of blood in the gutter. And they were like that on the sign. <laughs> on the fucking bus stop. On the pole. Within minutes, you would not have known that such a, a tragedy and happened to this fucking top end scooter. I, I can't believe the fucking my own eyes. I'm not too into scooters. I'm not really a scooter man here. I mean, or uh, 